Hello friends. So, I see a lot of people struggling with the issue where they don't have all the vanilla titles in the building editor. So this is going to be a quick, very quick video on how to get those all, or all of them, well, to you and into your buildings. So we're all familiar with isometric mode. You can draw whatever you want, you know, place the objects you like, and it does all the, the funky stuff for you which is great, and that's exactly what isometric mode is for. Now, there are some tiles, or actually a whole bunch of tiles, that are not in this list. But the tiles are on your, on your computer. They're in the, in the same folder as the other tiles, so you should have access to them. Now, the way to get to them, there's two different ways you can go about it. Step one, you can double click any of these entries, and it's gonna open up the building tiles menu or whatever you want to call it. And in here, you, let me scale this a little bit. A bit bigger on the bottom. There we go. You have all this stuff, all the lists that you had over there. You can add new ones, move them around, do whatever you want with them. This is how I have my own custom tiles set up in the building editor as well, because it speeds up things a whole bunch. But let's say you want to go and create or you want some tiles that are not in there, no, you're gonna look for the tiles in this list on the side. These are all the names of the tile sheets that are in your tiles folder. So everything that you have access to should be in here. So for example, up top is an easy one. There's a bunch of radios, a bunch of computers, a whole bunch of people like to use them, but nobody knows where they are. Well, it's very easy any appliances, communications, or comms, a one, and then there's computers on the bottom. So let's say you want to draw them. In this case, I'm going to add a new section, new category, and I'm just not going to add uh, or name it at this point because it doesn't matter. You can also add do this and add just to the other existing ones. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm adding a new category. I'm going to hit plus on the bottom, which gives, gives me a couple of options west north east and south and those are the facings of the object you're gonna place so the the editor knows how to rotate the object you're placing so I'm just gonna throw in a computer uh, north and then we have the southern one and east and that's it you can add more but in this case we're gonna hit OK you can change the layer which it is on, but for most stuff, furniture is going to be just fine. Hit OK. And then all the way in the bottom, there should be a new category. And now there's a computer, which I can draw. And just drop in just like that. So that's great. That's wonderful. Option two, tile mode. In tile mode, you're able to draw any tile from any of the tile sheets onto any of the layers which is important because it's good to stick with the layers uh, that they're meant to be on. So if you're going to do something furniture related, probably want to put them on furniture. Now there's four layers of furniture. And the reason for that is, let's say I add a table, a high table, and maybe then I want to add a computer. Now the table square here and the computer square are on the same tile, right? Follow, follow with me here. So that means there needs to be two entries on the same tile. And as you can see, if I hide furniture, it's going to hide all the stuff there. And if I hide two, it's going to hide the computer on top because it's placed on a, another layer on top of the first one. Now, this is also important if you want to draw some stuff in this uh, tile mode. So let's go to computers. Let's just stick with those. So I can draw them all on the floor tile, but in game they will override the floor tiles or they will even in override the floor tiles of your building. So that's not something you want to go with. So in this case, in most cases, you want to go with a furniture setting. But now if you draw in furniture one, it would override any of the stuff that's already there. So that, just like I just said, you know, to furniture two, or maybe even do something stupid. Let's get, I don't know, a radio. Go to furniture three. And I can actually just put it in front, which looks like shit, but you're getting the point. Like if you wanna 
layer stuff on top you just go up another layer so there is a couple of downsides to this one you have to manually select the uh, site you want it facing so the orientation of it you have to go do that manually you cannot rotate it's just going to draw a whole bunch more stuff two you have to watch out the layers for the layers you're putting it on because maybe you, you're overlooking something and you put it on the floor layer or you know whatever you have to pay extra attention and three if you rotate your building the game is not going to get it which facing it should have when it's rotating because there's no information on that except for the ones you put down in isometric mode that's why putting them in this tab may take a little bit of time but over time it will be definitely worth it because if you make buildings you want to rotate them if you want to make a bigger city or something like that it's just way better so tile mode is quick and easy it's a bit of a dirty method dirty dirty method jesus christ my english sucks don't mind that just you know if you get it it's good and then isometric mode that's where the fun is at it takes a little bit more time but trust me it will it will be worth it thanks for watching